Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. And today, the embargo has been lifted by the developers so we can finally start to show you some things, elements, vehicles, maps, weapons, all sorts, that's going to be in the forthcoming V7 Alpha update. So in this video, we're going to have a quick look at the BTR. This is not going to be a fully in-depth video on tactics and hints and things that we've learned from playing with these vehicles for the last month or so, but more of a little quick overview where we'll be doing in-depth videos at a further point in time. So let's jump in the BTR and have a look and I'll tell you what I think. So here she is, the BTR, and as you can see at the back, this is where the infantry would actually get in. Note, the ramp doesn't come down, you literally just run up and press F. That may come eventually in the future, but you can imagine how difficult that would be with the amount of players involved in some of these vehicles. So this is the driver's position, driver's view, and as you can see, we've got free look in here to have a look around, quite a restricted view. And we can drop the hatch, which gives us protection here. And we've worked out, we think it's about 5% damage per round. So if you get shot in the face while the hatch is open, you're more likely to get killed, but of course your viewing distance is drastically reduced. So here we have the main weapon, which is just an infantry's nightmare. This thing will just rip you to pieces. One round from this that hits you, insta death. Not quite sure about the splash damage, probably need to do a little bit more testing. And we do actually have a zoom facility as well, which is brilliant for engaging at long range. Can overheat the barrel, so you need to use this quite sporadically, short bursts, and you do have to manually reload when you run out of rounds. Tree in the back, get this kind of view. You can't actually fire out of the vehicle. You actually just get a small protection window. So let's start her up and we'll take her for a little drive. One of the things I really like about the way the vehicles have been done in squad is they actually feel like they've got weight. Heavy. When you turn the wheels such as this and the logistics truck, it's a slow, cumbersome vehicle as it would be in real life. Now the BTR is completely submersible, you can go in the water, and it really is an absolute beast on the battlefield, but this doesn't mean that this thing is completely vulnerable. The driver, as you can see here, is really quite difficult for the driver at certain angles to be able to see where he's going. And from experience from testing, you want to stick to the proven routes, the proven roads really, flat areas. Things such as this make it very difficult if you're attacked by RPG or things like that to actually get away because of these ditches. And it is really quite easy to breach this thing, or, or beach this thing should I say, on some of the banks and walls. So you've really got to be careful when you're driving around in the BTR. Now this is going to be the first kind of hint and tip I'll give you from playtesting the vehicles. Always make sure that you've got a road to reverse into or a way to reverse out or get away. Don't go putting this vehicle down really tight corners where you can't get away. You need to be able to retreat. And on screen, as you can see, this also highlights the difficulty. You've got no reverse mirrors in this thing. So if there's posts in the way, buildings, cars, objects, again, easy to really breach this vehicle. This vehicle is valuable. You want to keep hold of this vehicle as long as you can. Protect it behind walls, get the gunner to have been able to be able to shoot over walls, etc. If you lose this vehicle, it's 38 tickets. And you're also going to have to wait eight minutes before your squad can get another one. So this is gold dust. Look after it. It's actually got a really good top speed. You do have to work your way up there. You have to wait for the speed to build up. And there is a real heavy weight physics system in the game. Obviously, trying to get this up some of the hills will slow you down. I know trying to get up to the top of some of the peaks on Fool's Road is <laughs> very, very difficult. It's actually easier to stay at the bottom of some of those hills and suppress and kill the infantry from the bottom by aiming up. Very, very key as well is communication with the gunner. He's got a better eyes 360 position. If he says to you that there's enemies in the north, turn the front of your vehicle to the north. It's got the most protection, the most armor, and it'll keep your vehicle alive longer. If he sees two or three RPG gunners and he can't take them out instantly, he should be the one to tell you to bug out and get out as soon as you can and try and save that vehicle, preferably in reverse, or if you need to get out in a rush, go forward. So as you can see here, the vehicle starts to slow down a lot when going up hills. So take this into account when you're out in the field. 
especially if it's an open area where the other where the enemies can see with rpgs and 50 cals and dushkas everything else coming your way but overall it's brilliant to drive just be aware that you can get this vehicle stuck quite easily on some of these things and going up and down hills and in between trees the vehicle's actually a lot longer than you think it is So let's just have a little quick example here, see how quickly or how easily we can get up a steep gradient like this. You wouldn't really go up this, but this will give you an example of what's doable and what's not. And then we'll have a look at some damage. So again, impossible for the driver to see what's beneath his wheels, what's on the other side. To try and stick to flat areas with proven routes, roads, lanes, things like that and you will keep the vehicle alive a lot longer. Well, let's have a look at damage and see how much damage this can take from the RPG. So here we are, we've been sneaking through the woods, we've had a picnic, we've made some rape, murder and slaughter in the woods. And now it's time to take some action. Now the RPG class has now got two different types. We have the frag grenade, which is good for infantry. And here we have the heat rounds, which is perfect for vehicles. So there we go, that's one heat round up its poop chute. As you can see, that's given that vehicle severe damage. Now that's in a fire state, and as we come down here, you'll see the effects are amazing. Armor 3 and blast core and all that, eat your heart out. These devs have done an amazing job. So as you can see, if this was to take any basic damage now, grenades, another RPG, boom, it would be gone instantly. Now, this vehicle has got the opportunity to get to a repair station by driving up to it and getting itself repaired. But we're not going to allow it to do that. So, as you can see, two heat rounds from the RPG will easily take out a BTR. So, I don't think you are completely invulnerable in this thing. You're not. You can actually take this thing down quite easily. But at range, obviously, you're going to have to be quite skilled with the RPG. Well, I hope that's been of some interest here. As I mentioned, this has just really been a really quick look for people who are interested and want to know what the BTR looks like, sounds like, and how it drives. I will be doing a tactics video on how to actually use this effectively in combat, and I will be doing an overview of lighting, maps, vehicles, and everything else that's new in the new version of Squad Alpha 7 that's coming real soon for you to get your mitts on, and I can tell you now, you're going to absolutely love it. It's a game changer. The game feels amazing. Some of the maps with the vehicle combat, and then you sit on shore at night when you see some of the Humvees on fire driving past, absolutely incredible. It's almost photorealistic, but I'll get into that in some other videos. I've been Paraplays. I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, leave them in the box below. In the meantime, I should be uploading some more videos for Alpha 7 coming real soon. See you on the battlefield. Any, any yep, just, uh, yep, just like reload. That's it.